Okay, so, hi. Um, during the break time, I'm expected to meet all of you. However, I probably won't, and uh, I might get to know roughly 20 of you or so. Now, you might ask yourself, why? Why won't we meet? Well, easily put, um, our hobbies might not be the same. My interests and your interests might be completely different. Um, the broad topic of my research uh, might pretty much um, bore you to death. So, how many people did you meet the last time you went out? Well, frankly put, I met nobody, but that was because I was with my group of friends. However, I saw this guy, similar to this man right here, sitting in the corner, enjoying his drink, and creeping on everybody around him. I felt sorry for him because he was there alone, hostile, not willing to approach anybody, but at the same time, nobody wanted to approach him. Similar to this example, um, I can recall something that happened to me a while back. Uh, I was in Boston, Massachusetts, walking down the street, and I noticed this attractive young lady walking towards me. Um, for a split second, her eyes met, and then we continued along with our lives, and I was pretty bummed about this. I found, I found, I found her really attractive. So, why do these things happen to us? Um, how can we tackle these problems in, in our society? Wouldn't it be nice if we could have more information about someone just seconds before we actually meet the person? So this was the idea, to implement an application into a modern wireless piece of technology, such as a cell phone, make it completely independent of any external infrastructure, such as the internet or a mobile cell phone carrier, such as Telnor or VIP, um, while instead uses Bluetooth, which is a wireless data transmitter to transmit profiles, make, it com uh, make the user have complete control over the information he is willing to share about himself, and make it free of cost. So the project, ever since I started my personal project roughly 12 months ago, till this day, my mentor and I are still working on a minimalistic prototype app codenamed XBT. Runs on Android platform and it looks for new devices using Bluetooth. It has a unique Bluetooth identifier and a MAC address in Android language which helps to discriminate new phones from those encountered before. And the user creates a profile by filling out boxes similar to the Facebook XML profile. This is the XML profile. As you can see, it's very dull, but it has all the important information such as uh, your activities, your date of birth, your favorite movies, music, etc. And now if we open the Facebook profile, it has all the same characteristics except it is pa packaged in a nicer way and it's made to be more appealing to the user. Of course, mine is gonna look better than that. <laughs> so the Bluetooth device name is replaced by the user-defined keywords, and the program looks for matching devices, and if the keywords match, then the cell phones vibrate, and a string of text pops up indicating an action that the user has to take in order to uh, draw attention from the other user. Now this can be something simple from, you know, waving your hand to going and doing the doggy, <laughs> uh, stuff like that. So real world applications. For instance, you're in a library and you're reading your favorite novel and the person two seats away from you has a similar interest in novels. You're at a conference such as the one I was at where you're, you specify in how TV shows affect Twitter trends, and there's a person there who has similar interest as you. Or it can be something that happens every day. For instance, you're walking down the street, and you get to meet your, your soulmate. Um, I think that this app can revolutionize the way people meet, and it can be an icebreaker in meeting new people. And finally, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you.